Hello, I'm Ted Corliss with the Corliss Barfield Trial Group. We've prepared a series of videos to assist people in making educated choices about hiring a lawyer. Today's video is about fire losses and dealing with the insurance company. Fire damage is unquestionably the most personal damage that people can ever suffer at a house. I mean, imagine if you, if you have a tornado, sure, that can cause the kind of damage that gets really personal. But there's something about fire, the smoke that it creates, the water that had to be used to put it out. Your personal belongings are sitting in this stew of fire, soot, and water. And then you're dealing with an insurance company bureaucrat who wants to pick through your personal belongings and decide what can be dry cleaned, what can be repaired, or what has to be replaced. What's covered in an insurance policy is clearly stated in most insurance policies, although some clearer than others, of course. But the most important thing that insurance companies have to do for you after you've had a fire is to put you in a safe place immediately, even if they're investigating the claim. Imagine this, even if the insurance company believed that they could prove later that you were an arsonist, up until they make that choice, they're responsible for putting you and your family in a safe, clean place until those matters are resolved. That coverage is all covered under the additional living expenses under your insurance policy. The second thing that the insurance company is responsible for doing is inventorying and replacing the damaged personal property that you have. When I have met with individuals at homes, you know, they, they always say the same thing to me. They always say, these are just things, and they're right. But losing personal belongings like family photographs, wedding albums, or things that their children made when they were younger, that, you know, like ornaments that they would put on a Christmas tree, I've seen so many insurance people show up at sites and start kicking around in people's personal belongings as if they're just things that can be purchased at a department store. And, and they're right. It is just stuff and they'll go back to the stuff store and get some more. But this is the insured stuff. This, the, this is their life expressed in the contents of the house that just burned down. And so the insurance company is responsible for identifying everything in that house and working with you to value it. Now this can get very complicated because a lot of times people don't have backup information regarding how much they paid for a television. Do they buy it on Black Friday or do they buy it on the heat of the market? Who knows? But it's at that particular point where we try and work as closely as we can in treating our insureds, the insureds that we work with, with the most respect possible. The last thing and also important thing the insurance company is responsible for is putting your house back into the loss, into the condition it was before the loss. And what I mean by that is it's not a good effort, it's not a good attempt. No. The insurance company must make that house as if no fire ever occurred there. That includes everything, not just from the replacement of the drywall or the carpeting or the doors, but they have to eliminate that smoke smell that people have in their memory after having been in their home after it burns down. If you can still smell smoke, the insurance company's job is not done and maybe that's when mine begins. If your family has suffered a fire loss or your business has been damaged by fire, please visit our website at www.corlissbarfield.com. You take care of your family and we'll take care of the insurance company.